Four minutes in the password calculation. So I already got that from another device. And as you can see, I already put the password on the EIS. So I am going to remove this EIS perform these connections on this EIS because I tried to compute password using CGDI and I wasn't able to therefore I'm gonna since it's able to read this it should read this if it's not able to read it either this is harder to crack or this is defective So once you get the password, all you have to do is come back over here. Get to EIS tool and then generate a key file. This is the password that was populated and then click on OK. And then from this point on, choose where you want to put the key. Say, for example, this is used. This is used. This is not used. So you can click on that and then click on OK to generate a key file. This is a type of key. If it's a remote key, use that and then click on OK. And then you generate the key file. And the key file is generated. So you can go ahead and write onto the key. Put the blink key in the hole and then write on it onto the key insert the blank key click on ok find the key file I had a key file earlier today is the 18th so it's going to be this it was key number 5 it's a 051 half smart and then I'm going to click on OK and it is writing onto the key it should it is checking the key for now and then 
you wrote the key key file writing completed so let's verify that this key is programmed again as you can see the key has been inserted he has unlocked and then the key turns again turns again so I'm going to step out of here and renew my key one more time so I can use it for the next EIS insert the key into the programmer click OK and then it is clear again and let's confirm that the key has been cleared again insert into the EIS no clicking no unlock key one turn